Max Tolliver of the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church here in Huntsville, Texas. Thank you for tuning in to our live broadcast on the day. Hope you enjoy the singing and more so enjoy the word of God. Psalms 150 and 6 says, Let everything that has breath praise you the Lord. Hope you enjoy the worship experience. Good morning, saints. Good morning, children of God. Thank you for tuning in and joining us this morning for Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church's live worship service stream. First, giving all honor to God for who He is, for being so mighty, so loving, and so kind. So let's come in today and praise His holy and righteous name. My name is Minister Rico Evans, and I'm here with my pastor, Pastor Max Tolliver, to uh, conduct worship services this morning so we just want to uplift the holy and righteous name of God thank him for his goodness and his mercy and to praise his name amen so as we prepare to get started join in just like you are in the middle of service right there in the middle of the sanctuary and if you're in your home whether you're on your job whether you're in your your closet no matter where you are just praise and lift his name sing songs and shout for his mercy and his goodness and his glory amen as we begin to get started this morning let's go to him with the scripture our scripture reading this morning will be coming from psalms 105 psalms 105 it begins oh give thanks unto the lord call upon his name make known his deeds among the people sing unto him sing psalms unto him talk ye of all his wondrous works glory ye in his holy name let the heart of them rejoice that seek the lord seek the lord and his strength seek his face evermore. I read verses 1 through 4 of Psalms 105. May God add a blessing to his holy written word. Let us now go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, this morning, Lord, we come thanking you with every fiber of our being. Thank you, O oh God, for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being who you are, being the creator and the designer and the maker of all things, heaven and earth, O oh Lord. Lord God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity one more time to come before your, your face, Lord, saying that you are the Lord of glory. You are the King of kings. You are the one that sits on that mountaintop that has all power in your hands and your hands alone. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to come in today. We may may not be in the same place together, O oh God, but we are together in unity as your body in Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord, for giving us a, a desire for you, Heavenly Father, that we shall praise your name. We shall give you, Heavenly Father, that which you are deserving of. We can never give you all that you, you're worthy of, Lord, for we are just giving what we can, Lord, and let us continue to do that. Lord, bless today. Have your way in this, this worship service today, God. Heavenly Father, use your messenger, oh Heavenly Father, that he might deliver a word that's powerful, that's mighty, that is from you, O oh Lord, that someone may understand that they need you today. Someone may understand that you are the God that is in control of heaven and earth. You are the God that is in control of their life. You are the God that has been providing for them each and every day. You are the God that is mightier than any other God, O oh Lord. And Heavenly Father, we ask you today to just let the word about your son Jesus Christ go forth. Heavenly Father let him be spoken of. Let him Heavenly Father be accepted as Lord and Savior. Let him Heavenly Father be the one that is the mediator between us and you O oh God that when we need you Heavenly Father that he will speak before us O oh Lord and that you shall have mercy that you will be a just God and Heavenly Father we thank you today Lord and Heavenly Father let your word go forth on this prayer line that the whole world may hear, that the whole world may uplift your name, that the whole world may become your children, O oh God, and they shall be on one accord, just as we are today on this line, singing, praising, and studying your word each and every day of our lives. And the name of you and your son shall be upon our lips, morning, noon, and night. Thank you, O oh Lord, and in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Bless your holy name. May God bless you. 
Next will be announcements by Sister Wanda Glaze. Good morning and welcome to the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church announcements, April 19th, 2020. Join us weekly for prayer call, Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. devotion and prayer via Facebook Live, 7.45 p.m. prayer line, conference call at 425-436-6392. Access code 553956-POUND. If you have any prayer requests, please send them to contact at mountzionmbc-huntsville.org. Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. via Facebook Live. Mount Zion Sunday service at 11 a.m. to 12 noon via Facebook Live. Pastor Tolliver is asking and challenging us to the love incentive to check on the well-being of at least one fellow church member a day to see how they are doing and if there's anything that they need. Thank you. At this time, we will have praise and worship by Brother Holiday. doing and if there's anything that they need. Thank you. At this time, we will have praise and worship by Brother Holiday. Good morning, everybody. Truly, the Lord is good. The Lord is great, and he is definitely worthy to be praised on this morning. So come on in, uh, sit down with us. Um, and we're going to do some praise and worship this morning. Put a praise on your lips and put a song in your heart as we approach the throne of grace and song this morning. Amen. Uh, song says, Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burden down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, oh, since I lay my burdens down, oh, glory to glory, hallelujah, since I lay my, my burdens down, glory to glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my head down, hey, I feel better, so much better, since I lay my, my head down, I feel better. So much better, oh, since I lay my burdens down, burdens down, Lord, burdens down, Lord, since I lay my, my burdens down, burdens down, Lord. Burn us down, Lord, oh, since I lay my burn us down, oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my, my burn us down, glory, glory. Hallelujah, oh, oh, since I lay my burdens down. Come on and worship.
worship with us this morning. It's a simple song. It says, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you, Lord, more than anything. Come on and sing it with us, folks. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just wanna tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hey, Lord, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you, Lord. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Yeah, I worship and adore just want to tell you, Lord, that I love you more than anything. Oh, Lord, I love Jesus. Oh, Lord, I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. That I love you more than anything. Come on, keep that worship going. You are my healer. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you that I love you. More than anything, you are a healer. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell that I love you more than anything. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. God has made a way for you. And if you don't feel like he made a way for you, just wait a while. I'm standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test, but holding on to the faith you know that. Nothing can catch you by surprise. You've got this figured out. You're watching us now. And when it looks as if we can't win, you're up in your 
your arms and step in. And everything we need you supply. You've got this in control. Now we know that you made a way. Backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over. Oh, you made a way. And I'm standing here only because you made a way. Oh, thank you, Lord. You made a way. So now we're here. Looking back on where we come from Because of you and nothing we've done To deserve the mercies you've shown But your grace was big enough to pick us up And you made a way When our paths were against the wall and it looked as if it was over. Oh, you made a way. And I'm standing here only because you made, you move mountains. You call the walls to fall with your power. Before miracles, there is nothing. That's impossible, and I'm standing here only because you made you move mountains, you call the walls to fall with your power. Before miracles, there is nothing that's impossible, and I'm standing here only because you made way you made way you made way you made way as the pastor comes
to share a quick testimony with you. Um, if those that have been tuning in to our prayer line every night, several weeks ago, I got on the prayer line and I announced that um, um, an, an officer that I work with, um, his wife works in the medical field, a nurse, and she has been on the front lines of this, this pandemic since the beginning. She has been working tirelessly to make sure that people are taken care of and at the same time putting herself at risk. And so he, he called me one night and said that his wife was sick. She had a fever um, coming home and having body aches. And so I wanted to share, I wanted to come and share with you guys a quick testimony from, a quick testimony from, from him in reference to, in reference to what God had done for him and his family. Um, again, this is a testimony, hope you enjoy, from Mr. and Mrs. Loya in reference to their experience with COVID-19. Hello, God bless you all. Uh, my name is Romeo Loera. I'm a police officer with the Montgomery ISD Police Department, and I work under the supervision of uh, Pastor Max Tolliver. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had called them to let them know um, I wouldn't be going into work because my wife had come home from from work sick. Um, she came home with a high fever of a hundred and two, and was having body aches and stuff, which you know automatically you know she isolated herself and went into the to the bedroom for a few days um, with all the coronavirus going around and stuff um, that day uh, pastor Tolliver uh, said that he was gonna you know have my family in prayer and um, you know told them thank you um, the following day my four-year-old son started with the same symptoms was complaining of his body hurting all over and um, had a fever also, a high fever. And, uh, you know, I updated Pastor Tolliver to put him into prayers also, and he advised that he would. Um, I just wanted to take some time to say thank you. I know that they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have healed and uh, without y'all's prayers. Well, and um, of course, you know, my wife did get tested for the virus. And after a couple of nerve wracking days of not knowing, it came back that it was negative. But I know it ha it all has to do with the, the healing and the prayers that that were being well, done at, at y'all's church, which I appreciate. And also uh, my, my church. And um, I just wanted to reach out and say thank you for, for the prayers. Yes, thank you so much um i'm denise i'm his wife and um i guess it's a little tricky because we both are um essential people as you can say you know i work in a hospital and he's a police officer and it's kind of tough um i think it's more tough on us because we have to take that extra precautions and things like that and and to think the fact that you may um, come home with a virus that can potentially be deadly um is very scary um but all we did was quote Psalms 91, and um, we know that we are protecting the gods um, under God, and that um, with Him all things are possible. So um, immediately I came home and was sick, and I quarantined myself in my room, and um, you know I told my mom, my pastor too, um, and we all started praying and praying and praying and fasting, and um, uh, you know God has different ways of working with people. Um, and God is going to do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants it. And I thank God because, you know, I pray like, Lord, if, if it's your will for me to be sick as long as for my family to um, come to your feet, because my sister came to me and she doesn't serve the Lord. She knows who God is, of course. Um, but she, you know, she said, hey, I got down on my knees and I pray for you. And, you know, I said, God, you know, if you're going to use me, then use me. I know eventually you're going to heal me. So, um but um but to god be the glory so everything um that god did um we glorify we need to praise him whether it's bad times or good times at all times we need to praise the lord so just remember that if you ever in a situation where you feel like you can't get out of or you don't have control it doesn't matter if you don't have control because god is the one that's in control um so god bless you all and i pray that um you guys may continue to um 
keep going forward in the Lord and may God protect you, may God guide you, and may God lead you in everything that you do. So God bless you all. All right, God bless you. And thank you once again for y'all's prayers. It's low. I can hear you, but it's low. The volume is low.
choose the words wisely, I have to deal with this thing which is my tongue. It's, it's small, it's small, but it's deadly. You, you, can, you can say some words, um, they used to say a saying back in the day that, or even now, that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never help. Even though sometimes 
So your word that you use is a choice to help. Ephesians chapter 4 and 29. Ephesians chapter 4 and 29 out of the Message Bible says, watch the way you talk. Let nothing foul or dirty come out of your mouth. Say, watch this, watch this, what's the word? The word says, watch this, watch what you, watch the way you talk. Let nothing foul or dirty come out of your mouth. Say only what helps. Each word is a gift. Watch this. Say only what helps. We've got to make a conscious decision that I'm not going to let nothing come out of my mouth that's not going to help somebody. Yeah, that's, that's not going to help somebody. That's not going to build somebody up. Listen, we literally, we literally tear each other down. We literally help other people tear us down. We don't already be up enough and then get around family and get around friends and people that say they love you the most, they literally assist the enemy in tearing you down. Watch this. That, that is not the, 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 the lifestyle that us as believers is we've got to make a conscious decision that we are going to help one another. I, I challenge you today. I challenge you today to tell somebody something that's going to help them. Now watch this. Now if, if we have a choice to help, the second thing we got to have is we have is we got a choice to hurt. Yeah, I, I know, I know we got a choice to help and we got a choice to hurt. James chapter 5, 3, verses 5 through 6. Now watch this. Your, your words, your words literally sometimes can be detrimental. Y'all ain't gonna talk. Can literally be detrimental to someone. God deliver me from people that don't care what they say to folk and don't care about how people feel. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Listen, I, I'ma just say whatever I want to say and whatever way they receive it. No, the devil is a liar. God's got to, anything that God is telling you to do, it must be done in love. And if what God told you to do has dropped, y'all don't tell you, watch this, let me help you. The Bible says that the devil is the author of confusion. And so if your words, well, I'm going to just help them, and whatever way they're going to see, but no, no, no. you got to make sure that you pray to God about what you're about to say to somebody. Because what you're about to say to somebody can literally either cause them to go left or cause them to go right. And my question is, do you want to get to heaven and literally, when you are literally being judged for the things, get in front of the gate, being judged for the things that you've done, do you want to be the one to say that you said this, you said that, you said that, and because you said that, it hurt somebody else. It, it literally hurt, it literally damaged somebody else. 
his life. Nobody took his life. He literally laid down his life for you and I. He literally was willing to step out of heaven and gave up himself for us. He was literally willing to put nails in his hand. They put nails in his feet, a thorn of crown upon his head. He literally never said a moment in words. And he died for us. He died for us so that we may have a right to the tree of life. He died for us so that we can be doing what we are doing today. He died for us that while we were yet sinners, God died for us. He saved us. He justified us. Not only did he justify us, he taught us about regeneration. He taught us, the word of God taught us how that once we came to Jesus, it taught us how God taught us how to live. That God changes our life. That God molds us and shapes us into what he wants us to be. And that's the testimony that we have today. Today I tell you, you've got to choose. You've got to choose whether you're going to choose to speak your words full of death or full of life. And my question is, what are you going to do today? Are you going to choose those words to hurt somebody, to help somebody? Or are you going to choose to help? I pray this bless you all today. I pray that this word bless you. I pray that you was encouraged. I admonish you by Colossians chapter 4 and 6. It says, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each question. Proverbs chapter 10 and 31 says, the mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. I encourage you in the word of God. I encourage you those that are listening today. I encourage you with this word. And I pray that you are able to feast on it today. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, if you are watching today and you are not saved and you don't know the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, I pray that this word of God encourages you on today. God is not concerned about what you've done on yesterday. He's not concerned about what you've done today. He knows what you're going to do in the future, but he loves you no matter what. John first, I mean, um, John chapter 3 and 16, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's pray. If you're watching and you want to be saved, repeat after me with this prayer. Say, Dear God, I know that I am a sinner, and there is nothing that I can do to save myself. I confess my complete helplessness to forgive my own sins or to work my way to heaven. At this moment, I trust Christ alone as the one who bore my sins when he died on the cross. I believe that he did, that he died, all that would ever be necessary for me to stand in your holy presence. I thank you that Christ was raised from the dead as a guarantee for my own resurrection. As best as I can, I now transfer my trust to him. I am grateful that he has promised to receive me despite my many sins and failures. Father, I take you at your word. I thank you that I can face death now that you are my Savior. Thank you for the assurance that you will walk through with me through the battle. Thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, we hope y'all enjoyed our live on today. Be praying for us. Be praying. We're, we, are, we are trying our best here to make sure that we can get the word of God to you in your home. I want to encourage you. We are praying every night, Monday through Saturday, at 7.45 p.m. We are praying on the prayer line. The prayer line number is 425-436-6391. Access code 553-9569. We are praying. I pray you were blessed today by the, by the, by the prayer and the scripture by Minister Evans. Pray you were blessed by the announcement. I pray that you were blessed by the singing by Brother Holiday. And I pray you were blessed by the word of God. Be praying for me and your family. Me and my family. Here at Mount Zion, we always say much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. Let me pray for you. God, we thank you for those that are watching and listening. I pray, Lord, that you bless their day. I pray, God, that you continue to protect them and watch over them. God, we thank you for who you are and what you have done. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Remember, read Psalms 91 seven times through your house. Walk through your house. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to find some oil that I can get and I can give to you. So I'm, we're, we're going to do our best with that. So continue to stay prayerful. We love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Hope you enjoyed the worship experience. If you're not following us, follow us on Facebook 
at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville, Texas, and YouTube as well. Here at Mount Zion, we say much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. Tune in to us next week. I love you, and you can't do nothing about it.